Hi Scorpio, welcome to your, what is today? May 6th <laughs> reading on Scorpio Cat Tarot, I'm Kat. Welcome everybody. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you do. Listen guys, I missed yesterday's reading because by the time I got home, it was just so late. I was so tired. I worked tonight, so I'm in my scrubs. Just finished a 12 hour shift, but I want to get this done for you guys. I want to get your reading done. One just jumped out, so let's see what we have. Ooh, the Ten of Wands. So that's a heavy emotional burden that's carrying a very heavy load that's feeling like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. What are you worried about, Scorpio? What are you upset about? Two cards, I'm going to take them. The Lovers, Divine Partnership, and The Hermit. So that's very much being introspective, looking inward, turning inside for the answers, uh, being in your head. Okay, so Scorpio, what I'm getting right off the bat here is that you are fe feeling a very heavy emotional burden over your uh, relationship, your partnership with your person, and that you're maybe overthinking things a little bit and uh, very much in your head right now. I think this light is too bright. I should have maybe taken it down or not. It's late. I'm tired. Bear with me. <laughs> all right. That's too many. I'm not going to take all of those. Okay. So something about your partnership has got you stressed out or worried. Six of Cups. Okay. So that could be somebody from your past coming back. That could be nostalgia. You could be thinking about happier times with your person thinking about happy memories six of pentacles that's an equal partnership you see the man and the woman on the side there and he's passing out the coins that's an equal give and take it's an equal partnership queen of cups Queen of Cups, I feel like that's you, Scorpio. You've got a lot of love to give. Very emotional. Very nurturing, loving. Okay, so I think you're stressed out about a person that was in your past. Very much in your head thinking about them. Thinking about happier times between the two of you. I think that you're wanting a more equal partnership between the two of you that maybe in the past you were putting in more effort than they were giving more than you were receiving. Um, the queen of cups you know, is a very loving, nurturing energy. We're givers. We're, we're, you know, very loving people with huge hearts. But, you know, that queen of cups... She's loving and giving and nurturing and all of that, but she's not going to give her cup to just any old person, you know? That's the queen. She's not going to be entertaining pages and, and nights, you know what I mean? So I think you're wanting your partner to be on the same page with you, Scorpio. You want it to be more equal. Nine of Swords, okay, so that is sleepless nights, anxiety worry, doubt, fear. Perhaps you two are in a separation and you're concerned that they're not going to come back. Nine of Cups. You see this person is your wish fulfillment. You think that this person will make you happy or they do make you happy. Perhaps you had a falling out and things haven't been going so well between the two of you. But you know what I'm looking at here? The lovers, the six of pentacles, which is the equal partnership, and the nine of cups are all in a row. They're all lined up. Which says to me that's, you know, that's synchronicity. This person makes you happy and you want, you want things to work out between the two of you. You want it to be equal. Yeah, see, there's a happy, stable home life, you know. Four of Wands is very stable. 
uh, harmonious uh, home life, marriage, family, the whole bit. Five of Cups, disappointment, regrets. You see three cups are knocked over and two are left standing. Still hope for the future, you know. The guy's down, but he's not out. He hasn't given up. You haven't given up, Scorpio. But there's some regrets about something. Oh, and there's the Eight of Cups. Perhaps you walked away from um, this person in the past because they weren't... They weren't putting in the effort. They weren't meeting you halfway. They were taking more than they were giving, okay? And you were feeling tired, worn out, stressed out. There's the King of Wands, okay? So the King of Wands, he can be, it's very fiery, passionate, ambitious, he can be a little bit of a player. So I don't know if maybe your person was seeing other people behind your back or what. That's the two of wands. Two different paths to take, two different choices. Six of wands is celebration. That's victory, celebration. So whatever the two choices are that you had to make, it's going to turn out well with the Six of Wands here, okay? Seven, oh, maybe your person had two choices. Because they were, okay. They were in that King of Wands player energy. Maybe they weren't really sure what they wanted and they walked away from the relationship. And they had two different paths or two different people, you and some other person, some of the counterfeit ass, bargain basement, low budget, heifer. <laughs> anyway, that bitch didn't turn out to be what she seemed because here's the seven of cups. Okay. I call that the grass ain't greener on the other side cup. Okay. Card. Sorry. Because you see, it's like, yeah, you can see that there. It's a room full of like gold and jewels. It looks fabulous, right? All these golden cups. But look what's in these cups, you guys. Snakes and severed heads and ghosts and like. So it looks great from a distance. But when you get up on it, oof, that's a train wreck. So that's what happened to your person. They felt like, oh, maybe the grass is greener over here with this person because Scorpio is stressing me out or, you know, this person, you know, is going to be better for me. Well, guess what? Seven of Cups, bitch. All right. Strength. Be strong, Scorpio. Hold your stance. Set your boundaries. Know your worth. Don't settle for less than you deserve. And here's the king of uh, the ace of pentacles. It's a brand new start. Okay, the aces are like new beginnings. Pentacles is love, security, stability. Not love, but you know, security, stability, commitment. It's a brand new start. It could also be finances and health. But this is pretty much a love reading. So I think it has to be a commitment. Okay, so the person, once they went off on their little seven of cups trip, they realize, oh shit, I fucked up. Excuse my language. Um, so then they come back for the Ace of Pentacles. They want to start over with you. And they're like, oh, I messed up bad. <clears throat> There's the Nine of Wands. That's opposition, hardship, okay? So they could be facing some opposition from you, Scorpio. You may be like, you know what? I don't want you back. Or take your trifle and ask somewhere else. Yeah, there's the Ten of Swords. Look at homeboy is Swiss cheese down here. He's so full of holes. That's the end. Finito. You may have cut this person off, Scorpio. 
You may have cut this person off. <laughs> oh, it's the Queen of Swords and there's the sword you did it with. <laughs> Shazam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so for some of you, this person wanted to come back and you said, you know what, not so fast. Yeah, because you're in self-protective mode yep okay so for some of you i do believe that you had a reconciliation with your person and you took them back and you're working on that for others i feel like your person was maybe thinking the grass was greener somewhere else went to explore their options and you went you know what i don't think so and you cut him off him or her off and you ended it they tried to come back with this ace of pentacles and you were like you know what no no you wanted an equal partnership. You wanted them to put in the effort, and they simply did not. So you went ten of swords, stuck your, you went queen of swords, stuck your sword in them, and, you know, now you're in self-protective mode. All right, let's pull a couple of romance oracle angel cards and see what we got for you. What does your person want to tell you, Scorpio? What does your person want to say to you? What does Scorpio's person want to tell them? Please use the oracle cards to let me know what Scorpio's person wants to tell them. All right, Scorpio, let's see. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment okay so that's what i said with this ace of pentacles here okay so some of you this person realized how badly they screwed up and they ain't thinking about engagement with you they're thinking they don't want to let you go again that's for some of you okay another message for scorpio from scorpio's person please so oracle cards to tell me what Scorpio's person wants to tell Scorpio, please. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of... Sorry, guys, it's dark in here. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay, so, so for some of you, this person wants to come back and take you on a trip and love bomb you, you know. So you'll forget all the nasty shit they did. <laughs> all right. One more. Please use the Oracle cards to tell me what Scorpio's person wants to tell Scorpio. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay. So for some of you, it didn't go the way that you wanted it to go. And you're maybe like not even considering forgiving, maybe being a little controlling about the situation. But you know what? I can't tell you what to do. I'm not a therapist. I'm just a tarot reader. You don't want to forgive. You don't have to. But forgiveness is for, for you. You know, it prevents that bitter root from taking hold in your heart and making you a bitter, angry person. So... If you are able to forgive, it's always better to do so. It doesn't mean you have to, like, forget. <laughs> or take the person back. Totally up to you. Everybody is different. You're, all of your situations are unique. All your relationships are unique. There's no one-size-fits-all here, okay? So take this information and do what you will with it. I'm just a messenger, you know? These cards will apply differently to everybody. Let's pull a uh, Lover's Oracle. Look at that spicy card. Woo Passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. We're Scorpios, when is it not? <laughs> Whatever you're doing, Scorpio, it's got you glowing and looking magnetic. Keep that up. That's a pretty card. Okay. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. 
Meow. <laughs> Okay, and one more. Look at this freaky deaky person. All right. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Okay, so that falls in with the other card that said let go of control issues. Okay. So there's no point in trying to control something, trying to manipulate it, trying to make it something it's not. You know what I mean? If your person isn't the, the best for you, maybe it's time to let that go. You know, you, you did your, your queen of wands and stabbed them. Maybe it's time to just let him go. All right, guys, that's what I got for you for tonight. Um, I have tomorrow off, so I'll read during the day. So I'll probably upload a little earlier. Um, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate all of you. Your comments are always welcome. Um, you know, uh, if it didn't resonate with you, check your other placements. You know, your, your sun, moon, rising, Venus, um, they all affect you a little bit differently, okay? Um, I guess that's what I have for tonight, so I will see you tomorrow. Thanks, Scorpio. Bye.